sister always cooks but this year we kind of didn't get together but we did pick up some food from her and it was delicious she's like the best cook in the world and on Christmas Day it was a little bit quiet it was just James and I we didn't obviously we didn't go any place but it was nice I got to relax and I got to actually I got a lot done on Christmas Day in the afternoon I got a lot done um, which was awesome because I usually don't I'm exhausted but this year it was wonderful so I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and I hope that you stay safe and I hope you got everything you wanted for Christmas I know I did and my husband was very happy with the things I got him it was just great so that got me to sit thinking on Christmas Day in the afternoon like I said when I was relaxing I always try to okay I need to get organized and I always try to do that. The, uh, my goal is about the second, the first week of the new year, I should be done with my organizational setup, my planning and so forth. My planner setup and everything. So I think I want to bring you along to see maybe you guys might pick up some little tips on how I get organized and my thinking behind certain things and uh, my journals and things like that. So... I want to condense it because there's like a lot. I mean, it, it would take 20, 20 videos, but I want to condense it to maybe three videos. Maybe I might be able to throw in like a bonus video. I'm not sure, but I want it like um, just kind of take you along on my planner setup, my planning supplies, and that kind of leads into the journaling and my Bible journaling is part of my journaling. So I want to kind of take you along how I get organized, okay? Uh... Like I said, I want to do three videos and I wrote them down so I don't forget what they're each going to be about. That way I try to keep it and stay in the subject because I tend to just get off subject. The first video, which is today, I'm going to cover my handy dandy caddy planner, which is this. I've had it for years and I still use it and it works wonderfully. I can pick it up and go. I'm going to go. This kind of leads into my a little bit of my Bible, how I set up my Bible journaling how I'm going to plan for that because last year I kind of started planning and then I didn't plan for it and I would just I didn't have a system for it and I would just plan whenever I had time in my garden that I so I, I ended up just doing my Bible journaling in the summertime which I don't want to do it just in the summertime I want to do it all year long and that leads into my paper clip organization and I'll show you that in a minute um, the second video I want to do for you is going to be about my planner stickers and my setup for planner stickers. How I set up for planner sticker. This is not my regular stickers that I have someplace else. This is just my planner stuff. And I'm going to show you what I've used in the past as um, planners and as journaling, how I journaled in the past. That's going to be video number two. Video number three, I'm going to use, I'm going to show you... Um, what I'm going to be using this year to plan, wish me well. And then I might throw in that little bonus video because that leads into my journaling, which is my traveling little mixed media, little suitcase that I alter. And I keep a lot of my mixed media stuff there, but I also keep a lot of my 
planner stuff there too so I need to organize that so all this takes me about two and a half weeks by the second week of the first week of the year I am done with my planning I go through everything I de-stash what I don't want to use and believe me guys what I'm going to show you now is already been de-stashed I go back and look at the systems that have worked for me and the systems that have not worked for me and I just get rid of those and stick to what works for me so let's get started with today's video i wanted to show you my caddy but first let me show you a couple of things that i do keep inside my caddy this caddy let me just show you the caddy first the caddy i picked up i think it was either michael's or joanne's six seven years ago i've had it for a while it's, and it's worked incredibly and it's like this it has two little handles with the little chain on it and it's i picked it black i actually this I used when I used to go to crops when we used to scrapbook and we used to go to crops. I started using this as a crop part of. I would put it on top of my crop uh, cart, and then I would. I found out that I was able to hold so much stuff in it that I was like, wait a minute, this might work better for my uh, journaling and my planner stuff because I can just pick it up and go like if we're in the TV room I can just go there if I'm in the living room or sometimes even in the summertime when I'm done with garden work or if I'm taking a break and I want to have like a, a drink or something I'll just sit outside take this whole thing take it outside and do like a page or whatever and then that's it that's my break so it was it worked really well and I love it I'm going to keep it it's very handy it has all these little compartments and all kinds of stuff I'll walk you through what I have in here First, I have this little light because when I take it to my bedroom, I need to replace the batteries. In the back, it has like a slot that if I want to like put something in here, I can. It has like a big gigantic, like a belly band right back here. See that? So if I wanted my pencil cases, I have quite a few of these pencil cases. I got them on line and I love them. I think I have a blue one and I have this little one and I have a blue one like this one and I keep... I think the blue one, I might even keep this one in my Mix Media little bag. I'm not sure how this is going to work for me because I want to reorganize and restructure some things. But anyway, back to my bag. Here in the back in the belly band, I keep my, some clips. Sometimes I need some clips for something. I just keep them on there. It's got three pockets over here and three pockets on the other side. See, and it's I keep it, try to keep it light. Uh, my light I already told you about. This is my... I call it my office supply little pocket. I keep a staple remover, some scissors, a pencil sharpener because I have pencils here. And I keep some of my tumble. This is the, uh, I think this is the one with the little dots because sometimes I just want to use that. And this is, I think this is just my lip gloss. So I keep that in there. Uh, here I keep little no, they're not tabs. They're just like little sticky notes, but they're different than these sticky notes on this side over here. Uh, just little tiny sticky notes, just for whatever if I need some. This is an eraser from uh, the dollar spot. Yeah, just some sticky notes I keep in here. And what is this? Oh, this is just... <laughs> just a little mirror in case I want to look at myself. I don't know. Um, here I keep my favorite pens for that i love for writing and my planner this is i just try to stick with planners i do use some of my jelly pens for um like if i want to sometimes when i don't use a sticker for birthdays and stuff like that a doctor's appointment i color code the different appointments and different things with the different color pens uh which i have here this i keep on my desk this little container a friend of mine gave me and I keep on my desk all the time these are my favorite 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 of all time jelly pens here I keep my markers and more pens on this little pocket over here on this side and these two little compartments I keep a stapler I keep the stapler remover on the other side my little stapler my glasses because I'm blind I have to read this I used a lot Another eraser, some more little sticky stuff. This I do have to put on with glue. Just extra little things for my uh, planner. And I've used a lot of them because I used to be real thick. 
And then on this compartment, this I used a lot before I had my Happy Planner that I'm going to use a lot now because I'll, I'll get into that later, but I'm going to use a lot of these now. And these come in really handy. I don't know where I picked this up and I don't have any more. This is it. But I have little... Uh, I put them on with washi tape because they have no glue. But they're for like every day of the week, like special little notes or something that I don't care, that I don't have to keep, that I can just get rid of once it's done. Like a little daily priority to-do list type of thing. And before I had my Happy Planner, I used this a lot with my Happy Planner. For some reason, I used something else. I didn't use this. But I'm going to start. I did use it a couple of times, but then I, tran I transitioned to another system. And I didn't use these anymore, but these came in really handy because I could just take them off the planner. I didn't have to leave them in the planner because the planner for me, later on, it got real bulky, you know, like chunky. This caddy, there are things here that I need to get rid of because I no longer use this. But I want to reuse the little files, the little folder files because they're so cute. So I want to make new tabs for them and use them for something else. This I had for bills and stuff that I needed that were pending and things like that. Um, my chequera, that means my checkbook. I don't use a checkbook anymore. We do everything online. So I, this is like real old. That's how old this is. But I want to use these little folders because I think they're adorable. Um, these were all my skincare receipts uh, for my taxes. And I haven't done skincare since I moved here. So I need to use this for something else. And then bills. I don't do bills. My husband does bills. So... I used to do bills. I want to repurpose these little files for something. And then back here, what I keep is my uh, postal, well, my address labels and some of my um, forever stamps, which is all that I buy. And then back here, I keep it by month, my trackings for my um, trackings and supplies that I bought from my store or whatever. And this goes... It stays in here, yeah, the postal trackings for my customers. This stays in here in this little pocket for about a month. At the end of the month, I have another filing system where I put them for my tax purposes. So this is kind of like a catch-it-all thing. And here I keep a little notebook that I take with me. This is especially handy in the garden. And it, see it says garden. Sometimes when I'm out there, and I have this with me or just like if I want to jot down a quick you're going to see how I have a problem with notebooks I have lots of notebooks with lots of purposes for them and it kind of works for me I know what I want them for but this particular one is to jot down any projects or any little things in the garden that I see or any like a quick little a little project or a little area that I want to clean or something I want to do I have it in here and then when I do it I yank the page off and throw it away and then these I keep in here too. Um, no, these I actually don't keep in here. These I keep in my Bible journaling area. So these do not go in there. In here I keep this envelope. I do the, well I did, last year was kind of crazy. I don't know why, but I did the Dave Ramsey. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. You can look it up, the Dave Ramsey system. And it worked kind of well for us. And on a private note, that's how we got out of debt. And yeah, that worked for us really well. So I started to do one because it's helped me like a lot. Um, the envelope system. I don't know if you're familiar with the Ramsey envelope system, but I'm going to, I did two last year and they work really well. I started doing them for my private thing, not my, you know, for my thing. But I think I'm going to incorporate back the house stuff because that really helped um like i said it helped us get out of debt and since i had a budget for all the projects that i had to do in this house when we first moved, moved in our fixer upper i did, really didn't use this system because the money was already there and it was already a sign i didn't have a purpose to, i didn't have a reason to save for the money because the money was there already but now i want to start get back into it this one right here this pretty envelope from a beautiful paper collection that I love. My Actually, my garden journal that I'm going to share with you later on. Just a brief little, my junk journal. I did it with this paper collection. It's an old paper collection, but I love it. This envelope is empty now. Is it? Yes, it's empty because this is where I keep 
birthday money. And my last birthday for the year was my sister. She Her birthday is Christmas Eve, so she has a super special birthday. So it's empty, so I'm starting all over again. I keep birthday money in here, so when the birthday comes along, I don't have to worry about anything. A couple of weeks before, I already have the money. Actually, I have it a long time before. And I just go get the gift, and it comes out of here, and it's no big deal. And I don't have to be, like, bothering my husband. You know, I need to run around and get this, and, you know, whatever. So that's what that's for. This is the Dave Ramsey envelope system. And these are CD envelopes that you can see that I have altered with little stickers and washies and all kinds of cute little stuff. Let me show you this one. And I love these little stickers with the coffee. I love that. So these I have not been used. To be honest, I have not used any of these, so I'm going to assign these. I'm going to branch out into my garden because I have two major garden projects that I'm working on. So I want to do two envelopes for the garden thing. The general garden envelope and then another thing that I'm going to, another project that I'm working on. Um, actually talking about gardening, the first thing that I organized before I start doing all this, which has already been done, and that I kind of do about a, the week before Christmas. And this week, this year was amazing because this year I was super finished fast with Christmas. It was awesome. It's my seed cataloging and my ordering my seeds. So what I go, what I do is I have this big bin, really pretty, that I've made kind of really pretty. And I keep all my seeds in there and I go and I, you know, I go through them and whatever's old I throw away. And then I have a little journal in there and whatever I need to order... I order so that's the very first organizational thing that I do for the coming year because in gardening we're always thinking a season ahead so that's why I do that so once that's done actually that project puts me in the mood for the rest of this project for all this which is going to lead into me organizing my craft room and it's just like a whole thing I think by before the first quarter of the year I'm organized out I am like completely organized and set for the year but it starts with my seed cataloging for my garden and that's like i said that starts the last week more or less of december like right before christmas okay so these are my little envelopes that i've already set up and i really cute and you know how washi tape is removable so hopefully you know i can kind of slip the money in here or i can peel it off so i made a lot of envelopes i don't think i i'm going to use them all but at least i have them in there see these one this is my general gardening fun and i do have a little something in there this is just my general gardening so that when I, you know, whenever I need to go in there and get like, actually James always buys me everything. But anyway, if I want to buy new plants or seeds or stuff, it goes in there. And what is it? Oh, this is, I have an eBay store. Actually, I have two eBay stores. One I'm very active in, but I keep that private. Nothing to do with this channel. And I have a sourcing fund. So when I go junking for eBay stuff. I just, this is always full so when I go in here I pick up what I want and I'm off so this goes into my caddy so pretty much this is my um, my handy dandy cat caddy this are more let me show you the, real quickly let me show you these because guys I can be I can be showing you stuff forever. these are all my tabs this is all planner stuff planner and some Bible journaling I have, oh yeah, these are all my zip drives where I keep a backup to my backup to my backup. They're all here. And plus I have a master board, like a big zip drive, and my husband has another tower. So I back up to backup, so that's not a problem. Uh, miscellaneous stuff, I just keep some cute little just reinforcers. Oh, these are nice for my planner for Valentine. So these are just like miscellaneous little stuff. These are my, I love this. This is what I use for my stickers because like I said, my, my site is kind of bad. So I use these for my stickers for my planner. I use my black distress ink. I have a little ink um, pad, crystal, I mean, uh, stamp holder thingy, let's call that. And I have my little stamps for my planner that I like. The ones that I like that I use the most are these. But I think I'm going to start using colors. I didn't like it too much with the black. I want to use some of my other distress inks. And then these are fun. This is a fun little 
because I keep in here. This kind of worked for me when I was doing my Happy Planner, and I think I'm going to use it in my new planning system because why not? Uh, my house cleaning, I have a new system for this that I got the idea. I started uh, towards the fall, and it's working for me. I'll tell you a little bit about that later. Actually, for my to-dos for the day, not just cleaning. It's working perfectly. These are some of my little stickers. Uh, you know, when I get paid, when I have to pay my eBay, when I have to just do all kinds of stuff in my Etsy store and everything. And then I have color coded also like with my pens. I have color coded my appointments and things like that with these little stickers. And this is like a whole video on just on planning stuff, which I'm not going to get into because this is not really a planning channel. But I do plan and I do like need to get organized. And that leads into my creativity. So I think just an overall view of this might inspire you to, you know, start some systems that'll work for you. These are my paper clips that I love, 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 love clips. And I use all these in my planner. And I don't know where I found these. I love these. They're so cute. And because I love paper clips and I like making them. I'm going to see if I got time to show you real quick uh, that whole setup if I can. If I can, if I can. These are more sticky notes. Again, this is more planner related. These I got online. I love this one. So cute. So these are more planner supplies. I love these. I shared some of these with my sister because she was into planning too. Um, well, actually, when we when I first moved here, I got her into planning. And I think she... Uh, I got her into Dave Ramsey. Also, my, my nephew learned about Dave Ramsey in school here. Uh, so she's doing all kinds of systems that are working for her. I don't know if she's still, you know, as, you know, on target for... Um, planning but I know that she incorporated a lot of stuff that I kind of shared with her and it worked for her so okay guys so this is my caddy and this video I want to also show you really quick because this this leads into my paper clips that I like to do and it also somehow the paper clips lead into my Bible organization okay so rid of a lot of things that I wanted to get rid of except for the little I want to repurpose some of these little envelopes so that's done so let me briefly show you my uh, Bible journaling little setup that I that works for me. Um, I tried my Bible journaling. I always my Bible is stuff that I use for journaling. My because I had a planner that I used for my faith planner, and I only really it was a little planner, like a little. Uh, it wasn't a happy planner, or maybe it was. Well, I did my little faith planner. Thing, but I was getting out of hand. I had like three or four different planners going on, and I'm like, no, that's not working. So a couple of years back, I did away with my faith planner and I incorporate, incorporated that into my regular planner, and I'm going to keep it that way because I like it. So my, I have my Bible journaling Bible that I use for journaling, which is this beautiful Bible that I got online. Um, I kept that with those planners, but I got rid of that planner anyway. So now I just have my Bible journaling which leads into my mixed media bag and all that because I keep my color pencils in there which leads to my pretty little paper clips. I don't know if you can see them. I love them. I make some of them. This is all color pencil. See I did this page on because I have this awesome stamp that I use. I actually have like two stamps. I have a whole bunch of them that I use for my Bible journaling and my planning that I love. I use these. These I use for my Bible journaling and my planning. Just to add a little extra touch to the page. And I was going to show you my pics, guys. I'm just like all over the place. I did this one too. And I like using my pretty paper clips in my... And then I made a lot of these. I don't know if you can see them with little like I like to do them with little fabric pieces and just all kinds of little stuff to them so and I added this little thing here my Bible didn't have that and I added the washing no this 
did it have this washi tape or did I add that? No, this came with the Bible. I just added that. And then on my paper clips, I did a really pretty, uh, pretty bookmark with, I bought these online and I just put a little crown because of our king and we are all princesses because it's just how it is. So that hangs on the bottom of my, so I already, I used a lot of, from this paper collection, I used a lot of the, um, acetate ones for my Bible. I don't know why I was just drawn to, uh, when I journal or when I do mixed media, I can't handle an empty canvas. I have to put something in it before I get going. So for my Bible, I went ahead and I added a lot of my acetates with washi tape. They can be removed. They can be whatever you want. Ooh, some of my pages got stuck. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, so, yeah, and some of it peeks out and some of it doesn't. I have a coloring book that I've been working a lot on. That's why I haven't, I don't have a whole lot in my Bible because of the coloring book. I'll show you that later on. So I have my, my faith, part of my faith journaling was my Bible. I have this, which I really want to do, but as you can tell, I haven't done much. I got this, I think, I've had this for a while. It's just been on my desk in a weird place. And this is a calendar, like a devotional calendar, uh, like a perpetual calendar. I keep this next to my table at night, but since I have a new system, I'm going to keep it someplace else. And then I printed some things that I want to, that I keep with my uh, faith-based coloring books. But I think I'm going to start drawing on some of these and putting some of these in my Bible journaling, making them part of my Bible journaling because I'm not, you know, I need something quick that I can just, you know, work on maybe a little bit at a time and then cut it, paste it, and put it on my Bible. So it'll be nice. Any excuse to go in the Bible. Okay, so this is my Bible journaling setup. And then quickly, I want to cover in this video also a little bit of my paper clips, which is like a treat. So I'm going to be right back. So hang on, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm back really quick. Last thing I want to cover in this in this um, video is my paper clip setup. And believe it or not, this is all part of my big organizational thing. I go through all this. I've already been a little bit through my Bible journaling. I got rid of a few little things I don't want to use. I've already been through my little caddy, my planner caddy. And for other than repurposing those cute little file folders, Everything there, I've destashed what I'm not going to use, and it's all ready to go. My pencils are all sharpened. Everything's ready to go. So that leads into my paper clips. I love using paper clips in my journals, in my Bible journaling, and in my planners. So I always like to, I have plenty that I've already finished, but I like to spruce them up a little bit. And, um, yep, and just... Uh, have like new ones new to look at sometimes I change them in the different books and different journals I change them around but this I have two little bins where I keep everything that has to do with making paper clips and it's so much fun guys I don't need another hobby it's really a lot of fun um, okay in this caddy here what do I have okay this I don't need to organize because I know exactly what's here this are the belly bands and just different bands that I use for to and that I want to use for belly bands on my journals that I'm planning on making. So what else do I have here? Oh, these are some grommets. This is more of uh, bands, belly bands for journals. And there's just, I guess I have them color coordinated, color arranged. So this is more of, well, not really, because some of my planners that I use in the past, you'll see them, I do use ba belly bands around them. What is this? Oh, I like this. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, I love this. Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't even know I had this. Okay, I'm going to put this aside because boho. 
Boohoo. Okay, I'm going to put that aside because I want to use that on something. So, okay, so these are all belly bands. Maybe I should find a pretty box for this somewhere. Uh, you know, then this ugly. Okay, so here. These are some of my supplies for my paper clips that I use. And I, maybe I'll do a tutorial one day on uh, how I do my paper clips, which are so fun. They come out so cute. So I want to schedule a time, maybe for, I don't know, maybe for a week or two, schedule a little time to work on my paper clips. Let me go get one more thing. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, doing this video has reminded me of a lot of things that I have to um, put in different areas. So I left off here. I have some of the paper clips that I like to use. I have gold ones that I'm, I don't do anything with. I have this cute little, these are Bible verses. This is adorable. Uh, my mom got them for me. And I sometimes I use them in paper clips. There's Bible verses. But they're in Spanish. I've had these forever. And I, sometimes I mail them to with my friends with Happy Mail. But I like to make paper clips out of them too. So I keep that there. I have a gigantic paper clip that I want to alter. I actually, I think I have another one here that I want to alter. And this is basically, see I use E6000 for my paper clips. So this down here is basically the naked paper clips I'm going to call them. I have these someplace else too. Here I have, I like to use a lot of these. I'll show you. See I made some really cute ones out of this. Stickers are from this which I got online. I don't know if this is a paper collection. I don't know where this is from but I made the cutest little paper stickers, little paper clips out of these little stickers that are my favorite. Uh, I've made some for my garden journal I made all kinds of paper clips so all of these stickers I use to make um, all these I love these Where did I, I just saw some of these oh in my envelope thing these little these little donuts I've used to make to alter and make some paper clips and I love making like kitchen things sweets um, these I'm going to turn into paper clips. I think I've done one or two. So these are all the ones that I want to use. This goes into my planning stuff. Yeah, I don't think I wanted it. Did I want to make paper clips out of this? I don't know. I will save it. All of these cuties I have them by category. So obviously this is Easter. I want to make paper clips out of these. I have made some. My second favorite paper clips to make are out of little rags out of little pieces of fabric. I love making those. And they turn out really cute. I make them like this. This is out of a piece of uh, an old chenille blanket. Or sometimes I'll just use like fray, little fray. And I like the little paper clips just kind of sticking up and you know peeking through the different journals and planners. So that's what these little strips are for. Uh, these are some of these bows that we can buy. I think this was either like Michael's or Joanne, and I turned them into uh, little paper clips. Also, uh, these are ready to go. These are more Easter paper clips. Sometimes I just mail them out when I mail packages and stuff like that. Okay, so that's one caddy for paper clips. I have another one. This one is, this little basket is for. Uh, some of my, this is like a miscellaneous, I gotta go through this, this shouldn't be here. These are all like miscellaneous stuff that, it's kind of like a catch-all, but it has to do with planners, and it has to do with stickers, so it's like the catch-all for planning, little accessories, so all this stuff has to be put in the right place. See, this should go with the naked paper clips back here. Uh, these are just a bunch of pins, naked paper clips, googly eyes. See, this is like a catch-all. Oh my god, these are so cute. I think these are little tags, but they can be a paper clip. Why not? Why not? 
um, yeah, this is a catch-all, so don't do this. Don't do what I'm doing, Brad. See, this is like a little bit of a catch-all basket. I guess I wanted to make some of these little poodles paper clips also. Yeah, this is our planning little stuff. I love these little charms. They're like coral reefs. They're beautiful. This is from a paper collection that I have that I love. So I don't know. This I gotta go through this basket. So see, this is why it's good to go through stuff. Because oh how cute I found that for 13 cents. That's probably why it's in here. Some of these cute paper clips. Yeah, this is for the Happy Planner stuff. Yeah, this is just stuff that I guess I've been buying throughout the years. And I just put it in the catch-all. This is stuff that I need to get organized on. See? These are all little catch-up stuff. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Yep, for sure. This, I have to go through this. So, see? This is part of my weekly, next week thing. So, let me show you really quick. The actual paper clips, they turn out so cute. So I keep them here. This is like a bin. Oh, I don't want to mess them up. But I think I got this bin, Michael's or Joanne or someplace like that. That's where I got them. And it works really well because every little area is like a category, like a little category. And I have all kinds of cute little stuff in here. But let me show you some of the supplies first. I have a bookmark that I've been wanting to alter now for... I don't know, maybe for a journal to do something here. And I'm thinking of doing metal stuff. Metal stuff. I, that's what's in my head. I have one of these that I like a lot. And I'm going been planning to use it as part of a clipboard project. Like a to-do list clipboard project that I've had on my head for a while now. And I haven't done it. This is this little heart punch, which is a tiny, tiny little heart punch. Is what I use in the back of my paper clips. See, this is what holds the glue to the paper clip. I hide it with this little punch. So I keep it here. Uh, I don't keep it with my regular little punches that are over there. I just keep it here. So here I kind of have them a little bit by category. I think I wanted to make, instead of a cape paper clip, I wanted to make, turn these into like a little clip thing, right? Not. I have a whole bunch of these here. Uh, this shouldn't go here. This should be in my planner box, which is right back here. So I keep it, try to keep it in categories. I had, these were, all these little bins were full to the max. And I've given them a lot out and a lot I have used. So, okay, let's start in this little corner. These, I guess, are my 4th of July ones. Oh no, these are 4th of July and Valentine's. Look how cute. Yeah, these are like my summer. This is like the beginning of the year thing. And see? And these look so cute picking out of all the journals and all the planners. And I love them. So I have quite a few of these left, but I still have plenty of supplies as you saw so I can make some more. These are my favorite. I made these out of these are so cute. I have them in my cooking planner. I made them out of little glasses. Aren't they cute? I think these are adorable. Um, I only have two left. I had a whole bunch. These were some of the very first ones that I did. I was just practicing with some cheap old stickers from the dollar store. So I practiced on this. I want to make sure that the E6000 worked and I wanted to make sure that everything worked before I went on and made some of the other ones. So these were just all from uh, dollar store stickers, all kinds, that I just cut up all the little, not stickers, like little, lam yeah, these were stickers that I laminated, that's what it is. These were stickers that I ran to my la through my laminator and then fussy cut and then turned them into paper clip. Uh, what else? These are some that I want to do. Look how cute. This, I don't know why this is stuck in here, but uh, this is a word from some fussy cutouts, but I laminated this also, and I, obviously I want to turn that into either a paper clip or punch a little hole and dangle, you know, make a little dangle for my Bible. 
stuff or for my faith journal or for guys and before I journaled and before I had planners and before I had all that I did vision boards back then I think even when I was in high school this was a long time ago I had a vision uh, folder thing and then I graduated later as an adult I graduated into vision boards they were these gigantic boards that I would put behind my door or whatever and I would just stick all kinds of positive stuff in there and then I went into vision boards but they were smaller and that's kind of nice and it's a form of mixed media too so I might go into a little bit of that if I want to get back into that but then I got you know into like journaling and you know the way that I used to journal before I'll show you and went away a little bit away from the vision boards but I did that for many years these are uh, just some of my favorite paper clips. I don't think I want to turn this into anything. I don't know what I wanted to do with these. Maybe laminate these. I might might want to, to laminate these and do something with them, I think. These I did want to turn into something. Aren't they pretty, these leaves for fall? Maybe laminate them or something. I know I wanted to make that a paper clip. And that a paper clip. And these are my... I love these paper clips. These I did out of a, with a punch that I have. And some glitter paper. I made these little coffee cups. So what I did here, because then later on I got a, I got a little bit more advanced. Well, I, I like this system better, this way of doing them better. But that's because I'm the owner of the punch and I can punch two punches if I want. Where some of these are just laminated and I only have the one rooster thing. So the ones that I have, that I can have double-sided, I will make double-sided. So these are cute. This one kind of peeled off. I made these for my journal or my journal planner when I moved into this house. I had like this organizational little uh, folder thing and then I also had like this planner thing where I organized all the different projects, everything that I had going on. I had different people working in this house at the same time and paying different people and supplies and staying in my budget it was just all like one big thing and I could not have done it unless I was organized and I made these these I made for that system uh, and I just kept, these were extra these I made for that system and these I made for my cooking and baking I'll show you that later that I have to go through and get organized on that too so see guys, I have a lot of things going on at the same time. These were just like a lot of fun. I've given a lot of these out. These have like, like the little googly eyes because I love owls. So I made a whole bunch of cuties with these owls. Just tons. And some are puffy. I love the puffy orange ones. These are my favorite. They're so cute. And then this is like a puffy sticker, like a foam. These are just puffy, puffy. Look how cute. You can see the bulging little eyes. These are adorable. I have a whole bunch of these. I gave, an, I gave a lot of these to my sister for her planner too. These I gave a lot out because this was full. These are my favorite. And they are, I have some in my cooking little planner. And these are all those donuts that I showed you. I have some left and some ice cream cones. These are so cute. They're adorable. Um, I gave some away too because this was full. These are like critters I call them. I'm calling them like the critter pile. These I used a lot for my garden planner. This little owl will go someplace else. These are also puffy. They're puffy but they have glitter on them. They're adorable. These are my favorite. I gave some to my sister. Look how cute that is. Isn't he adorable? Let me see if it'll... Is it going to focus? I don't know. I gotta show you this because this is so cute. Let me see if I put it behind this. Yeah. Oh yeah, look. It focuses. Let me put something behind it. These are adorable. Adorable. Look how cute that is. And these. Super cute. Let me show you this big fox. Oh, I have the squirrel. Little owl. And this was my favorite. This big squirrel right here. Come on baby. How cute. I had a whole bunch. So I know I've given a lot of these out because I had tons of these. So I know these are a lot of these I've given out. 
and these are my I always say these are my favorite but these kind of really are oh see these I haven't done yet and I want to really do let me see if I can give you a close up on this these I haven't done but they're like on my to do now list look how cute this is a little carousel this is showing they're kind of like see through and these are little ballerina look how adorable uh, this is a little heart for Valentine's. I can probably give this in a happy mail. These are so cute. So these are like, I want to do these. These are my favorite. Let me put the little squirrels back. These are the critters. These are for my garden journal. Uh, they're all gone. I've used them all. Guys, this video has gotten to be a little bit long. I hope you're enjoying all my goodies. Look, these are my little rooster paper clips. And these are so cute. I had these in my garden journals. I use them in my garden journals and my planners. These are, I only have three. I had tons of these. Now, these are going to be in my garden journal this year for sure. And I want to make new ones. Uh, these I gave a lot out. The little elephant, the little Indian looking elephant. Let me see if it'll focus. Uh, let me see. Yeah. See, the little Indian looking elephant. I had a whole bunch and they're gone. These I'm going to use in my, uh, my new uh, planner this year. And here's another big rooster guy. And he's adorable. He's cute for Easter. So I do, as you can see, I've kind of been talking to you and kind of organized a little bit. Uh, my paper clips were more or less organized. I just need to refill the ones that I have already used. I need to refill on those. So I'm going to work, as, I, as I'm showing you my systems, is how I'm going to work on them. So I'm going to assign maybe a couple of little slots of timing to work on my paper clips. Just sit down and work and stack all that up again so I'll have enough for next year, for this year and a little bit left over like I did now for next year. So guys, this is pretty much a little peek sneak into my organizational, a couple of my organizational systems that really help me keep on in track of everything that I do. So I don't just do journals I do all kinds of things like all this organizational stuff that leads into the planning stuff it's a whole new world it's a whole new hobby actually which I'm going to try to condense because I have to have too many things going on at the same time I need to condense those so I will see you on the next video on video number two where I'm going to cover uh, my planner stickers these were my stickers for my paper clips I'm going to go over a little bit of my planner stickers and what I have used briefly, because I have a whole bunch of them, I'm just going to show you the front and maybe flip a little quick, little flip. What I have used for planners in the past. So I will see you next time. Bye, guys. God bless.